Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my first head-to-head -head match of the day and uh, it has been play played at Oakmont. This hole cannot be played with a driver because a driver is going to let you, if you especially if you hit over 300 yards, you're going to land up in the rough over here. So you have to tee off with a 3 wood and make maximum use. Although we are heading into a wind we could possibly use a driver, but then let's let's try and use a driver. We're going to give it about 90% power, and it should go in the region of 280. And just give it a touch less. I don't want to risk going into the rough. All right. That's in the garden spot. That's good enough for me. Alright, so what I'm going to do from here, I've got about 100 yards to the flag, but I'm heading into the wind. Uh, I say 100 yards because 7 feet drop in elevation, so I'm going to use a 100 yard wedge. And I'm going to reduce the spin to try and get the ball to carry a little bit further. We are heading into the wind. I'm expecting this should carry in the region of 100 yards. <laughs> Alright, pretty decent shot, considering my calculations. Alright, I'm going to be putting for birdie. It's pretty tricky slope. Just going to aim outside the hole and let the ball feed back towards. Just need to turn something off here. Alright, let the ball feed back to the hole. As you can see, that was quite a that was quite a severe slope. All right, next hole. I'm one shot ahead by now. All right, wind is coming in from the left to the right, 15 to 17 miles an hour. I expect the shot will go no more than 300, 305 yards. I'm going to be aiming left of the fairway because the ball is going to feed back in this direction over here. Just turn my images off there. Alright, so the ball's going to fly in the air, it's going to drift to the right and hopefully finish in this region over here in the region of 300 yards. That's right. in the garden spot. Alright, this shot is playing at about 180, and the reason I say that is because it's 172 plus the 22 feet of elevation, adds about 7 or 8 yards, we're going to call it about 8 yards, 180, we're heading into a side wind, so we do want to use a little bit more than 180 power, so we're going to be aiming left for that wind, and we'll be just reducing the spin a little bit to get the ball to carry a bit more, roll a little bit more, possibly kick forward, full power. Alright, not a bad attempt, but there is a slope on the side of the green that has pushed the ball left. Alright, so I will be putting for birdie. As you can see here in front of my ball, the this, this slope is going from left to right in a more severe fashion. Over here, not so much. The ball is definitely going to be breaking from left to right, so we want to aim outside the left of the, of the hole. Alright, so I'm going to switch to reverse angle. Aim outside the cup. Let the ball feed back towards the hole, hopefully. And it's just going to miss. Alright, we're going to walk away with a par. Not a bad thing on a hole like this. It is a fairly difficult green. And we move on to the third hole.
Alright, we're heading into a 12 to 14 mile an hour wind. It is a downhill fairway, so we probably still will get about 310 yards on this drive. Depending on... Alright, we're going to aim to the left because the wind is definitely going to push the ball to the right. There is a left, uh, right to left slope on this particular fairway on this side. But I plan to land the ball in this 310 yard region over here. We'll stop the ball. Yeah, it should. It should carry about 35, 310. And roll forward a little bit. Hoping for a big drive over here. I am going to reduce the spin as well. Get the ball to kick and roll. As you can see, it's drifting left to right slightly. Landing 304, 305, 303. That's a huge drive! Alright, here we are dealing with about 138, 143 minus about 5 yards, so that's about 138. I'm going to be taking a 9 iron, reducing the spin, get the ball to carry a bit further since we are heading into a tailwind. Unfortunately, it's rolling away a little bit. It's not going to be an easy birdie. I will be putting for the win. If I miss it, it'll force a tiebreaker. If I get it, it's a win. So let's putt for birdie. Trying to get an idea of what the screen looks like. looks like mostly a straight putt however the lines in front of me from this angle would indicate left to right from the reverse angle it looks almost straight slightly left to right it's going to putt at the center of the hole and secure the win solid putt all right i hope you've enjoyed that video and uh, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, keep watching my videos. I really appreciate your, your support. Yeah, that's a pretty decent scorecard. Three holes, two birdies, only one par, which was a narrow miss. Yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, please come back again soon. I will be doing some more videos uh, with audio tutorials very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.